support. Connor Mills, Chris Meelin alongside. They'll be battling for scholarship honours. Then it's Bobby Thompson, James Webb alongside. Ovi Iraro and Greg Holloway completing the grid. Uh, is Ricky Collard for Falcon Motorsport after retirement yesterday. We've got reverse grid action here. The first time we've seen it here on ITV4. Lights out. A very tidy start from Juan Rosso, you've got to say. Max Marshall gets away well. James Abbott all over him. Now, is James going to be a reverse grid expert? Because he won the reverse grid race at Brands Hatch, but it looks like a good recovery. Round the outside comes Jay Kruger from six on the grid. Up into third place, slots in, a little bit sideways from Max Marshall, but Juan Rosso goes around the outside, makes a, a superb first few corners. Well, that was absolutely amazing from Juan Rosso, because he did actually make quite a bad start, but then he's managed to get onto the grip on the outside of the first corner, made it stick and got into the lead. So great first few corners from Juan, but you can see Max Marshall, he's still with him. Kruger made a great start to go from sixth to third as well. And then there's Brabham and uh, Harrison Scott as well staying with them. So this is looking like a very close race. That was important for Kruger, wasn't it? To get in front of Brabs uh, and Harrison Scott, who had the advantage of starting in front of the race winner. Harrison's been mighty quick in testing. And of course, took a race win towards the end of last year. But the Falcon Motorsport, you can pick the Falcon cars out, the, the blue and yellow colours. Ricky Collard started to make a bit of progress. That 75 newcomer to the championship is Bobby Thompson, who comes in. He's been racing in the Fiesta Junior Championship originally, moved up into the Fiesta Seniors. This is his first single-seater race, a, a top name from karting. No, absolutely, yeah, he's, uh, he's done very well in Fiestas there, uh, but now he's, he's uh, moved into a different type of Ford, into these single-seaters, and uh, hopefully we'll see him right up at the front towards the middle of the season. But uh, Juan, he's uh, pulled a little bit of a gap on Max Marshall, but uh, not too much. And then there's Kruger, who's dropped off a little bit, but I think he's happy just with his start up to third. Yeah, that was a great start from him. A little bit of a sideways moment from Marshall, who started in pole position before. Remember, by rise at the end of the last uh, season, it was at Silverstone, wasn't it, that he annexed all three, all three poles when he took the car over from Dan Kamish, so yeah. we know he's quick. Absolutely, yeah, did a great job at Silverstone last year, and uh, he was obviously one for us to watch at the start of this year, and he's proving that with uh, with you know with this great race so far. But you can see Harrison Scott is now all over Kruger, so we'll see if they can, uh, they're gonna uh, have a good battle now, but Kruger obviously wants to stay in front of him because he's thinking about this championship now. And you can see also Abbott, who made a great start, unfortunately got bullied down a little bit through the first corner, he's also in this in this race with these two. Yeah, James Abbott, the third of the cars, the black and red Radical Motorsport prepared car, but Kruger goes wide, and Harrison Scott goes through, makes the pass at Coppice, and now here comes Abbott on the inside as well, and the championship leader, Jay Kruger, has got all the work to do again. Absolutely, that almost looked like he had a problem through Coppice, he was so slow yeah. at the apex, and Harrison Scott just drove down the inside of him along with Abbott, but I'm not sure if Kruger has got a problem, but definitely struggling with speed at the moment, and uh, Brabham is also catching him. Now, being a wet race, of course, the drivers are all on the treaded tyre, and that means that tyre wear for race three is not perhaps as much as an issue as it would have been with three dry races. No, exactly, yeah, you've obviously got to use the slicks for qualifying in three races, which is very tricky when you get to the end of the weekend, but this helps a little bit, especially if it dries later. You've still got some good tyres for later on in the day, but uh, now you can see Brabham getting a little bit sideways on the way down to Craner Curves, um, but there's Connor Mills that's all over grab him there at the moment and he's uh, trying to stay with him through the old hairpin good, good traction you can see grab struggling he might have got the outside line now can he make it stick around the outside and up into McLean's? He has done it already. Great pass, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Connor Mills won yesterday's scholarship class. It was his first scholarship win and really showing some form here in the wet. I was had a chat with him and his dad. They're running under the same awning as Bobby Thompson. They, those guys all come from the same area and actually grew up together as well. So Con Connor looking for his second scholarship win, but Ricky Collard's already up to second in the scholarships. We need to keep our eyes on the other yellow and blue car, Max Marshall we think's made a bit of a mistake and Harrison Scott all over him, this is the battle for second position, James Abbott down behind them, so radical racing strong here, yeah, we saw James Abbott very strong last year at Rockingham as well. Yes we did, but you can see Harrison's got the run out of the chicane, he's on the outside line going into the first corner, but he looks like he's got enough traction and like I said before there's grip on the outside going into this corner, so if he could just outbreak him, but he looks like he's backed off to try and get the cut back. But you can see Max has just parked on the apex. And great driving from Max there. 
Yeah, it's a good racecraft for him. The uh, driver, he's, he's done some drifting and speed events, but not actually had the, the uh, element of competition and racecraft is something that's new to him. A bit wide there, Harrison Scott thinking about diving down the inside. Now remember, oh, and he gets oh, crossed up. Yep. He's Harry got great car control, but unfortunately, when it goes like that and onto the dirt, then there's nothing you can do. But uh, Harrison Scott has got that place now, so Max has got all the work to do to try and chase him down. Yeah, Rosso's down the road, though, isn't he? Four seconds. Yeah, absolutely. He's gone. Yeah, he's very good in these conditions. He was very quick last year. Um, so, yeah, just getting off the line there, did the trick and managed to get away and, uh, and, and in, into the distance. But this is a great battle further down the field. Connor Mills challenging the championship leader, Jade Kruger. Kruger, who's been picking up wins everywhere, seems to be struggling a little bit with the damp conditions and the scholarship driver, Connor, really running well. It's Sam Brabham behind. We'll see what Connor can do now. Brabham comes out and does the wide line long Dunlop straight. He's looking to try and breathe past Connor Mills, who goes wide, nearly left the door open. Connor must be wondering what to do here. Does he attack Kruger or does he defend from, from Brabham? Where are the priorities for the driver here? As we speak right now, because he's got a bit of a gap on Brabham, he definitely needs to attack because Kruger is for sure struggling. So uh, Connor really needs to attack. He's trying to go for a late move down his side. What a great move. Brilliant on the brakes, made it stick. Kruger's got some grip on the outside line, as you can see. He's got the drive off the corner. But Connor's now got the inside for the kink. But then Kruger might have the inside for Craner Curves, which he hasn't made stick. He's gone around the outside and he's made his stick ready for old hairpin. Brilliant move for Connor Mills. What a great piece of racing because a lesser experienced driver than Jay Kruger could have taken him on. But he respected where he was on the circuit. Now he's got a dice with his teammate, Sam Brabham. And the significant thing for Connor Mills is that he has put a, another car between himself and Ricky Collard, who's trying to come through for that scholarship win to add to the two that Ricky took at Brands Hatch. Absolutely, and you can see these two battling as well, which is straight away given Mills the chance to uh, battle for fourth position against Abbott. So uh, now you can see Marshall is just struggling a little bit. And now you've got Abbott coming down the inside, ready for the chicane. And where's Connor Mills going to place his car here? He's looking at the wide line. This could perhaps end in tears, but the guys sort themselves out. James Abbott drops back. He's got to be mindful. So five cars all battling over this. This is superb. This Track is great. third place. Great Excellent racing. Formula Ford. This is why Formula Ford's on the package Absolutely. Now. It was on a few years ago when we were with uh, Josh Hill having some great battles. That was here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, with uh, Theo Elianas. And uh, it was slightly damp, a bit like this. And it created some great racing, which I think is why we're there on the token package now. Aussie Greg Holloway off? Yeah, it's just run a bit wide, I think, down to Coppice. Yeah, hard lines for Greg. He had a little bit of a moment on the outlap as well. And tricky conditions for him, but still side by side. James Abbott makes the pass. Marshall is down to third position. But look at Connor Mills. The wet is really bringing out the best of Connor here. And the Meridian Motorsport team, who maybe perhaps haven't got the experience for the dry setup, it will come to them. But in the wet, the wet is it's a cliche. It's a great leveller. But look at Mills. He's Round passed outside. Marshall up into fourth place. Great move. And now he's straight on to Abbott now. So Abbott had a bit of a sideways coming out of old hairpin. That allowed Mills to get past. Uh, Abbott and uh, sorry Marshall and now uh, now he's straight on to Abbott look he's all over the back of him well he took the 500 pounds in race one which is Abbott's run wide Abbott's run slightly has, wide yeah. yeah you can see now Connor Mills got the inside line where the grip is and he's got the inside for the chicane now great so, driving for Mills yeah quick look across into his mirror good driver awareness and he's side by side with Abbott is he going to make this stick Abbott's trying everything he can as they come down into the chicane but Mills is through Mills has got the scholarship car up onto a podium position. Great drive in the wet. Yeah, absolutely. He's obviously very good in these conditions because it's not quite as bad when, it, when it's wet because obviously the spray isn't as bad, but he's very greasy, so these tyres have not got as much water to, to, to disperse. So uh, he's, he knows these conditions and he can feel that car underneath him. So great driving from him. Donna Mills then, former Super 1 car champion. So this is the uh, moment where... Greg Holloway went off the circuit. It looks like he just outbreaked himself slightly and understeered wide uh, through Coppice, so, but at least he's going to get back out there. Harrison Scott got, got the grip on the inside. He's already got it. He's got down the inside. He's always going to make it stick for the chicane. So great driving from Harrison Scott. Well, I've been waxing lyrical about Connor Mills, but let's not forget Harrison Scott. He's got the fastest lap of the race. Some good race craft to come through. Makes the pass for the lead. We were having a little chat before the race, and we were maybe thinking that Juan Rosso would take the win from the front row of the grid. It did look that way, but Harrison Scott, what a superb drive. He's been banging in those fastest laps. Good bit of race craft there. He takes the lead. Is he going to get his first win of the 2014 season? It's looking that way, isn't it? Unless Juan can uh, come back at him, but uh, I think Juan's problem is he's not so much used to the... Uh, greasy conditions from Argentina.
Greg Holloway off the circuit. The uh, Aussie not enjoying his day too much, but he'll be back on. He's, uh, I think that time it was at McLean's he's going a bit wide, so he's obviously struggling with that car with a lot, lot of understeer. You can see Connor really pushing through Craner curves there. You can see how he's got in front of him, so he really wants to chase it down, but we are on the final lap now. Well, he started down in seventh position. He's backed hard and driven well all the way up into second. Harrison Scott started fourth on the grid, so he too has done a sterling amount of work in this one. It looks like he's done enough to control it. Well, being that we're on ITV4, you've got to say, the only way is Essex, because we've got Essex boys first, Essex boys second, and Harrison Scott, it looks like he's going to take his first win of the season. This one's not going to be a, a, a Dan Camish type season, is it? This one's going to go all the way to the wire. Absolutely, year. that's great. We've got some great quality drivers uh, in this championship, so we're going to see some different winners every weekend by the looks of things. But it's great for Harrison to get his first win of the season. Harrison Scott, call him Harrison Ford if you like. Harrison Formula Ford, he takes the chequered flag's first win of the season. He responded when the pressure was mounting from Connor Mills, who wins the scholarship pass and takes second position. A great drive from him too. Third is Juan Rosso from, from the front row of the grid. James Abbott, another great drive. He's always good in the wet. Fourth position for him. Sam Brabham, here he comes across the line. He's fifth, and then the championship leader coming into the race, Jade Kruger, who is 11 points clear, coming into this round five our first televised reverse grid race of the year the format is absolutely superb here's how they finished in round five of the dunlop msa formula four championship great britain harrison scott takes the first win of the year for him connor mills wins the graduates and takes second overall juan rosso is third from james abbott and fifth place going to sam brabham next was jay kruger head of max marshall bobby thompson second in the scholarship and then Ricky Collard and Chris Melian in 10th. James Webb 11th, Ovi Araro on his debut takes 12th ahead of Greg Holloway. Championship standing, see Harrison Scott take the lead of the table with Jay Kruger down to second. James Abbott third from Juan Rosso, then Max Marshall and Sam Brabham. Leading the scholarship charge is Chris Melian, then it's Jack Barlow and Ricky Collard with Connor Mills in 10th. Yeah, definitely obviously to get our first First win of your chest is always good. We've been working really hard. I mean, the pay, all, all for the first two rounds, we've been so close to getting that touch there. We've been second, twice, third. We just haven't acquired it a little bit, but now in the rain, the car felt great and I was able to push it and yeah, just pick my way through the pack from the reverse grid. And we'll have live action.